Hi everyone, Gruntle here, and this is my guide to legendary and unique weapons in Borderlands the pre-sequel. This episode we're looking at the Ice Scream. I'm just going to say Ice Scream because it's way easier that way. Um, which is a unique assault rifle manufactured by Vladov. This is a mission reward from the mission Bunch of Ice Holes, which is an early on in the game mission given to you by Nurse Nina. And if you hand it into Nurse Nina, you'll get this um, Ice Scream back. But if you give it to Barbot, then you will get two scoops, which is a unique shotgun. So give it to Nurse Nina and you'll get the ice screen. Now this will always be a cryo damage weapon. And um, it's always going to spawn with this barrel, the spinny gun barrel. Um, we'll look at the rest of the parts in a second. First of all, the red text, winter is numbing. Now that's a reference to, I'm sure you already know, Game of Thrones. Where there's the line, winter is coming, that is said quite a lot. Um, so that's a reference there. Um, now moving on to the parts of the weapon, the grip that I'm using here is the dial grip and that's to increase the accuracy of the weapon because the um, massive fire rate of the gun means that the recoil is a bit all over the place. This also helps with recoil reduction I believe um, and recoil recovery possibly. The dial stock is helping with the recoil reduction and recovery and also the accuracy also, also, also. And um, the weapon will never spawn with a sight. So that means when you aim down sights, you're not going to lose any movement speed as well, which is kind of cool. Um, the attachment on this weapon, giving it the swift prefix, is the, um, the one that increases fire rate and bullet speed. And you're actually um, never going to see it spawn with any other prefix. It possibly will spawn without a prefix. I'm not 100% sure on that but this is the only attachment that it's able to get. So if we compare it here to a purple version of a Vladov spinny gun, we can see that the damage of the ice cream is greatly decreased compared to the purple version, um, which means you're gonna to wanna to go for critical hits a lot of the time, but that's kind of difficult because it is a Vladov spinny gun with a lot of recoil. Um, so the accuracy of the weapon is slightly decreased and the magazine size is slightly increased and the rest of the stats are pretty much the same so it's a decent cryo chance and cryo damage um, so yes let's let's show it firing so this is what it looks like firing down sights um, and if I'm not aiming down sights it's a little bit less accurate um, and the recoil that you'll see here is the recoil of the weapon I wasn't moving the mouse at all I'll show you a better demonstration of that over here. So if I aim down sights, this is the bullet spread on the wall. You'll be able to see it now. So it's a bit of a circle, not too bad. Um, and this is without aiming down sights. It should be a bit more of a spread, a bit more upwards. So yeah, that's a bigger spread. And then of course, if you're further back, the um, aim down sights and also the non aim down sights are going to be a lot less accurate. So that's the aim down sights and the non aim down sights. So yes, what you want to do is you want to be close enough to the enemy that the um, hitting the critical spot is a lot easier. So you can get that increased damage. However, this gun isn't great. Um, and you'll probably be better off just going with a purple version because there's nothing special about this um, ice cream except for the reduced damage. Um, but if you can't find one of those, and especially in early game with this guaranteed weapon, it's actually, it's okay. It's not bad. It's definitely not an end game boss killer or anything like that, but yeah. Now one last thing with this weapon is um, sometimes it doesn't happen when you first spawn into the game, but I think it's happening right now. The, um, when you shoot the weapon, you get a little chiming sound which is the same sound that we heard for the hail last episode. Um, but if, I think what was happening with the hail is it was actually not meant to be playing that sound. And it's meant to happen for the ice cream rather than the hail because it sounds kind of like an ice cream truck. And the wiki page agrees with me. It says that it's like an ice cream truck sound. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that now. And basically, um, yeah, that, it sounds kind of like an ice cream truck chime. 
Uh, it's supposed to be a reference, I guess, to an ice cream truck-ish kind of. And the hail, the hail is doing something weird. So we'll ignore the hail, maybe. I don't know. Some people still might um, correct me on that. I'm not sure. I'm recording these both at the same time. So I haven't had a chance to get anyone's opinion on the hail noise. But anyway, we're going to jump to some gameplay. I'll be using Aurelia. I don't think any other character will be any good with this weapon. Aurelia has her cryo buffs, so she might be okay. But, you know, everyone else, um, this isn't a great weapon. So it will need some damage buffs and things like that. Uh, yeah, so we're going to jump to that gameplay. I'll let you know what I'm thinking of the usability of this weapon. So we're here in Overlook with the ice screen and it does manage to take out the first bunch of enemies reasonably quickly although that does not continue very well throughout the rest of it I do go down into fight for your life mode a couple of times um, or a few times even throughout this entire thing and although the ice or the cryo damage um, is decent for fight for your life mode in that it will stop the enemies from being able to run away the fact that this uh, weapon is such a low damage means that it's not very good for fight for your life mode and I'm lucky that I was able to get out of it so many times. This gun, this gun is only really useful for early game gameplay I think. It's decent enough when you first get it, if you get it from the mission um, in just normal Vault Hunter mode or normal mode, not even Vault Hunter mode, um, because the damage is probably it's quite reasonable um, for that time in the game you don't have many great guns and the enemies have a lot less health and damage resist and things so it's actually pretty good but in higher levels and in game gameplay it's not great uh, yeah but if you want to read more about this weapon there will be a link in the description below the like button to the wiki page and you can have a read up about it otherwise I hope you enjoyed the video uh, make sure you subscribe if you would like to see more of these weapon guides from me. I'm almost finished with the assault rifles now. Uh, and we'll be moving on to something else after that. So yes, thank you very much for watching. And I will catch you next time.